everyone welcome to my greenhouse on this very very sunny spring day i'm so happy it's finally spring and today i want to talk to you all things herbs so now that the weather's getting brighter it's the perfect time to start dusting off your outdoor furniture and your barbecues and the perfect addition to have next to your barbecue is herbs I've got a small pot of herbs here, but today I'm going to be showing you how to create a herb garden. Herbs are an absolute must have for your garden. Not only do they look green and luscious, they smell amazing and they taste delicious on your food. There are so many reasons why you should grow herbs in your own garden. The first is that they're mainly super, super low maintenance and easy to grow. They grow in containers, they can grow in the ground, they can grow on a window box, on a balcony, they fit anywhere. Lots of herbs like rosemary and curry plants and lavender are also drought tolerant. So this means that they don't need a lot of water and they like it nice and hot. Herbs can also be really easily propagated. This means that you can take cuttings from your herbs simply by snipping off a herb just above a healthy set of leaves and putting this into a glass of water where roots will start to grow and then you can pot it on into soil. You'll also find that herbs aren't often at war against any pests. This is because they have a super strong scent that often is quite off-putting to pests. Always grow herbs that you love to eat so you get the most out of them. I've gone for a mix of mint, to fennel, to rosemary. I've also got some parsley behind me. I nipped to my local British garden centre yesterday and picked up some of my favourite herbs to show you how to plant in a herb garden today. It is also worth noting that some herbs like mint can become very invasive, which means they spread and spread and spread and can take over your garden. So I always grow mint in a container. This year I'm going to leave this mint in this container, but next year I'll repot it into its own pot. So all you need to create your own herb garden is some peat-free compost, a trowel, a bunch of your favorite herbs, a watering can with some rainwater in it. Most herbs like really, really bright light, so make sure to put your herb garden somewhere where it's really sunny. I've chosen this lovely shallow stone pot that is perfect for herbs because it gets at least six hours of sun a day. The first thing that I have done is fill the first half of the pot with peat-free compost and then I put my five favourite herbs into their rough positions that I want to plant them in and then I can start tipping them out of their pots. Make sure to take care when doing this and if there are lots and lots of roots that are bound together very densely then you can tease these gently with your hand like this. This just means that the roots are going to grow outwards in this nice new big pot and instead of continuing to grow round and round and round like they were in their smaller pot. I now need to top up the rest of my planter with my peat-free soil. I'm adding it in gently around my herbs and making sure to firm them down so they're nice and secure in their brand new home. All that's left to do is give it a really, really good water with some rainwater out of my water butt. These herbs will need watering at least once a week, especially since they're in a really, really sunny, shallow pot. And that's it, we're all done. It was a super, super easy, simple gardening activity to do. And now I've got some lovely fresh herbs that are gonna grow healthy and strong all through the summer that I can use in my cooking. I would always recommend that you read the label that comes with your herb. This will tell you exactly what position it needs to be planted in, how much it needs watering, and how best to look after it. And that's it. I hope you found this video super helpful and if you've got any herb related questions please don't be afraid to send me a comment and make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching! <laughs>